Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today we're going to take a look at some of the basic rules for calculating derivatives. Now, derivatives are uh, applicable in differential, integral, and multivariable calculus. Uh, you'll learn how to calculate these derivatives in differential calculus. Um, proofs of all these rules can be found in our differential calculus uh, books, as well as um, some of the author David Massey's lectures. Um, so if you're looking for a little more in-depth uh, information, you can check out those videos or um, check out our differential calculus book. So the first uh, rule that we're going to take a look at, the first two rules are uh, linearity and the power rule. Uh, these are uh, going to be elementary rules that are going to be important in uh, using the other rules. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the derivative of a constant. So we have two notations here for derivative, d over dx, and the prime notation. So the derivative of a constant is simply zero. Um, now, the power rule sometimes deals with uh, variables to the zeroth power, which is just a constant. So uh, the derivative of a variable, uh, a function that's to the zeroth power, well, it's simply going to be a constant. So that derivative of that type of function is going to be zero. Uh, we'll take a look at that uh, in just a moment. But first, we want to take a look at uh, linearity. So if we have constants a and b in functions f and g, the derivative of af plus bg is simply a times f prime plus b times g prime. Now this rule is going to come to put into play pretty much everywhere. Uh, so this is something really important to remember. Um, a times f prime plus b times g prime. Now, the power rule, uh, if you have a function or a variable uh, x raised to the nth power and you want to take the derivative, uh, it's simply n times x to the n minus 1. And again, this is another rule that's going to come into play pretty much everywhere. Um, at the bottom here, I have a function uh, ax to the n, and we want the derivative of that, so we're kind of combining the uh, linearity and power rule here. And this is simply going to be n times a times x to the n minus 1. So that's how you would deal with uh, a function using both linearity and the power rule. Um, so we're going to take a look at some quick, quick examples here. Uh, we have f of x equals x to the 10th. f prime of x is going to be 10x to the 9th. Now, oftentimes, we're uh, asked to calculate higher order derivatives. Um, so we're just going to take a look. The second derivative of x to the 10th is the derivative of 10x to the 9th. We denote with the double prime symbol. And we get 90x to the 8th. We multiply 9 times 10 and do n minus 1 at the top here to get 8 and 90. So now we have a uh, longer function that's combining both rules again. Now we can simply, um, the negative 4 exponent here, uh, we can simply uh, treat that as a normal exponent. So we get negative 4 times 3x to the negative 5. Now it's really nice that we have uh, the negative here denoting a fraction because this uh, first term right here would actually be considered as this. And it's much more difficult to take the uh, derivative of a function with x in the denominator. So we like to use that notation and simply multiply it out like this. Now, I got rid of the power of 1 there because x to the first is just x. And what I did here was I uh, shifted 5 to the denominator. Now, this could be written as negative 12x to the negative 5. I've chosen to write it as negative 12 over x to the fifth plus 10x to the fourth minus 16x. So uh, another nice thing 
about using the power rule is we can switch functions with radicals in them. So we know that the cube root of x is equal to x to the one third. Now sometimes these functions can get a little bit uh, messy to work with, um, but we're just going to treat this normally as we would using the power rule. And we have one third x and one third minus one is negative two thirds. Now we could elaborate on that and uh, put the x to the negative two thirds in the denominator and uh, replace the negative two thirds with a radical. And we get one over three times the cube root of x squared. Now, sometimes you might want to leave your answer in this form, or sometimes you might put your answer in that form if you have the value of x and you're looking for um, the actual uh, numerical derivative. Now, the last thing we want to take a look at with the power rule, as I mentioned before, is powers of zero. <coughs> now, say we have a uh, function nx to the zero. This x to the 0 is just 1. <clears throat> so we can kind of see why the derivative of a function to the 0 is uh, 0. If we have just x here, then we would take 0 times x to the negative 1, but you don't really do that because 0 just multiplies something, just a constant by 0, and it's 0. So that's why we use the power rule. And uh, that's why we can show that the derivative of a uh, constant is zero. Now, uh, just be sure that you're uh, keeping in mind that the power rule and linearity are going to be used uh, throughout um, these videos about derivatives. Um, so make sure that you have these down pat uh, before you continue on to uh, the product rule, quotient rule, um, chain rule, and uh, some other rules that we're going to take a look at. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.